Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a little bit of a windy day here in South Georgia. So if the wind becomes to be too bad, then you know we'll take care of it in netting. So if you see a lot of more silent and a little bit more music and fast forwarding, that's what it is. So just bear with us and we'll take care of it. I know we said on the last video we was gonna be doing this and doing that, but I think we're just gonna continue to keep it small. We're gonna stay on that front end for a little while. Uh, we like to thank Advance again, once again. Robbie down there at Advance hooked us up, and uh, we got us some uh, we got us some sway bar link in links, and we got us some sway bar bushing, and we got the passion side outer tie rod. So we're going to be working on those today. If the video becomes to be too long, it might be a part one and part two. We'll see how that goes and during editing. Like I said, if it's too long, then we'll just make a part two out of it. So, but we got those today. We'll see how it works. Maybe try to put a little bit of paint on that sway bar. See if we can't make it pretty. And from the last video, we got us a another ball joint puller separator. I know that other one was a little bit wide, and we had to do some special tool making to get that thing off. So, but we're gonna we stopped and got us one. Maybe we could do a little bit better with that one. All right, like I said, we'd like to thank Robbie down there at Vance. Appreciate it, buddy. So keep it up, and, uh, you know, we'll be back to see you. you always hooking me up. I appreciate it. And uh, give it a second. We're going to pop this thing up and get started. Hi, right, guys. Got it up in the air. I did put some locks up on it this time. I can't wait till we get us a shop, concrete floor, and all that good stuff so we can be inside safer and do this stuff. Like I said, we got some locks up under it just to be safe. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Start on these end links and I've never done them before so we're gonna see what we can do to bear through it and get started on her and get her done. Let's go. Alright guys we're gonna start off with the driver end link here. I uh, put a little PB blast on them just you know give them a little something to break it loose. I've never done these before so I don't know if we should be putting pressure up under it or, or what so we just it's all a point of learning. We're just going to jump right in it and see what happens and learn as we go. So, got our 215s, got our ratchets. Let's get on it. So those bushings right there as we go, look at it. Now, that one off. I think we're gonna go to the other side real quick and go ahead and take it off. Maybe we can roll it up, maybe. I think that's how it would work. So we're gonna shoot over to the other side, take it off, and see if we can't roll it up. And then we'll get up under there and take these bolts right here out, drop the sway bar out, and then we may try to clean it up and maybe put a little paint on it. Don't know yet. Uh, and then we'll put the new bushings on and slap her back together. Uh, we'll see how that looks, how that goes. I don't know, it might be too windy. I know all this stuff we may, later on down the road, we may come back in and get some better performance stuff and put in here. Uh, then again, this might be fine. So. Throw the wrench everywhere. Right. 
that. And that one on top. So the spray ball went in between there and went in between there. So, alright. Get those off. Alright. There's a nut or something that's sitting inside of there we should be holding on to, or I guess we're not here just a minute, but that's coming out of the oven. Huh? So if you took it out from under the car and then down the other spot. Oh, I'm busted that thing up. So we had to pause and take them back and get the right ones. We got them here. To, uh, we left off. We had taken the end links out, got the sway bar out with the old bushings. We did get the uh, sway bar painted. We put a little blue on it. Maybe it'll last a little while. Uh, but we're going to jump right back into it and uh, get these things put on.
finder. Look good? Mm-hmm. Right. Let's get I think it'd be too much. I mean, if y'all know, y'all let me know in the comments. I'm gonna set it at five to seven. We're not driving the car right now until we get it uh, aligned. So if y'all happen to know, y'all let me know in the comments below. If I'm gonna try to look up and see what I can find. If it's something different, then I'll come back out here and redo them. But I'm gonna set them at about five to seven, about seven pounds, and uh, we'll we'll go from there. But let's get into it and torque it down so we can move on because we are out of daylight. We had to get the old trusty light out. Let's do it. All right, we're going to do that. We got it set at, it's on about nine now. So we already, the other side I did. So let's see. I mean, it's torquing right there. Like I said, if anything's different, we will come out here. We're not going to be taking it down the road right now. So, all right, let's get on. We're going to move to the tower right here. We're just going to do this little line there so we'll know kind of basically what it was. All right, now we need a needle nose. I can't remember the size of that. We got our new ball joint separator. size either. Alright, I'm going to get our tools that we need for this and we'll get this thing off.
You know what I noticed? How much skinnier that is. Mm-hmm. So you know what? I put the other side. You probably should have been on the a little bit. But we'll get it aligned and don't do all that. That's probably why it's kind of turned a little bit. All right, guys, as you can see, we didn't beat the daylight here. The night crept up on us. We got the old trusty light out. She keeps us nice and bright out here. So she got us, she got the job finished for us. We got the uh, passenger side outer tie rod on. Got the sway bar bushings replaced. Put a little paint on the sway bar. And we got the end links put on. The only thing we're having question about is the torque on everything. If it requires a torque, everything that we have read showed from little to no torque to some crazy massive number on a torque and it's just sounds unbelievable so we didn't go with that one we just put the smallest one we found on it if y'all know of anything different on it y'all let us know in the comments below we still got a good week before we're going to take it and get the alignment done we're not going to be driving it so until then hey like i said she's done looks good look that's what i meant by man we need to be sure if you're going to buy headlights tail lights Spend the extra dollar with it and get some better pair. Been fighting that ever since. I'm just put the originals back in it. Anyways, like I said, we got her down. She's good. So, hope y'all come along. Y'all like, subscribe, comment down below. Uh, y'all coming on on this journey with us. Until then, let's do it, baby.